Hello everyone, welcome to the 7th tutorial of the Salesforce Basic to Advanced course. In this video, we will learn how to query our Salesforce objects. Suppose I ask you that I want you to display first 5 records of the account object. This is the account object with particular fields. Like if I ask you that you have to display fields of website, facts and account site. So how will you proceed? So in such cases, we will use a thing called SOQL, which is Salesforce Object Query Language. If you are familiar, familiar with SQL, it's a similar to that. So first of all, you have to go to the setup, click on the gear icon, then we will click on developer console. So on clicking it, developer console will load now. You have to click on top left corner file button and then click on open. Now we have to select the account object as I ask you to get the records of account object clicking on objects then selecting the account object from here. Now these are all the fields of the account object. So if I ask you to display some particular field then you can select them from here like let me select the billing city type name and state as well so how to write soql query first of all select these fields of a particular object then click on query button so here is the soql query so what will this do it will fetch the record from the database from account object and get the records of these particular fields so clicking on execute you will see the data the account ID, billing city, type, name and billing state, all the records. Now if I ask you to filter these records, I want to, dis to display only first five records say. So what will you do? You will use a keyword called limit. Let me write limit five, clicking on execute again. So the five records will be displayed. Now similarly, if I ask you to order these records by ascending order or descending order, or order by which field so for that we we have we, we have a thing called order by clause right so from account after that we will write order by let's say i want to order it by name so clicking on order by name and then clicking on asc what does that mean it means the records will be ordered by name in ascending order so clicking on execute you will see that the records are being ordered by name and which are in ascending order also we can do it descending order as well click on DESC now you can see the order is changed so this is the thing and this thing select and from these are the mandatory clause it can't be skipped but there is an optional clause which is called as where clause so what is the use of where clause if you want to filter the records by a particular thing like the name should be this only or the type should be only customer direct then we will use a where clause so for example i ask you to show the records only where the name is equal to s force so how will you proceed you will use the where clause so select id from account and here you will write where name is equal to S force clicking on execute you will see that only one record is displayed now with the name S force so where clause is optional as I have previously done it before without it you can see but this select clause and from clause is mandatory and let me repeat this order by is used to for ordering either by ascending order or descending order and similarly this limit is used to make sure if we, if we want a particular number of records we can do it limit one two three so this is the case also i am sharing you my linkedin profile link you can follow me on linkedin as well you can search by anirudh garks sim, uh, simply on uh, linkedin or you can go to this url so thanks a lot